Okay, this is supposed to be a good system. We're supposed to take turns, one by one, okay? And then everyone gets grain, everyone gets yummy treats, everyone is happy, not by you. You're just too tiny, not. I get it, makes total sense. I have to do uh, copper in that little boy, but I'm gonna have to open that capsule because it's four grams and he's just too tiny. And we're also just doing the girls, giving them some grain to get used to the routine. And I'm gonna just put some music on while we get all that done. Are you guys eager to be milked? Well, you're in luck because I'm milking all the girlies. Goodness gracious. Yes, everyone is going to get milked and we love that. We support it. We appreciate it. Okay? All right. Let's do it. A veces pienso que te miento. Done? No more? Oh goodness. I guess it's time to go outside. Bye. Have a great day. Come on, honey. Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. I am in full force training the girls for the milking season, and that includes the first fresheners like Gaia, Briere, and Athene, but also a good reminder for Mocha, Annabelle, and Clara. Clara is a pro, she's gonna be six years old, she's been doing this for a while, but it never hurts to have them in our routine. So when time comes and I have to milk, I don't really have to be fighting them and kind of uh, establishing the order that they're gonna be milked at. Right now it's funny because the number one is Clara and number two is Athene. <laughs> Like you'd think Annabelle would be fighting for her second spot if Clara was first, but Athena is number two. So all that I've been doing is kind of massaging their udder, touching them from the front, from the back, touching their back legs and reminding them that it's okay. Good things happen in the milking stand. It's not about hoof trimming or copper or anything like that that they don't like that much. But this is... And um, she's doing great. I just want to make sure that she is eating a little bit of grain just to help her with the calorie intake. And at the same time, I want to make sure that I can refresh her milk stand manners. No. 
have a good order for children. Yes, ma'am. Your teeth are getting long. What's up with that? Is it because you are a you're a growing woman? It makes sense. I'm sure you remember how we milk, 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 milk. Your otter. It's kind of dry, so I don't have my otter balm with me, but I'll bring it tomorrow when it's time to do this again. So that way she'll have a very soft otter, but she's really good in the stand. She lets me milk her. I have no problems with her and she's done. So it's time to go. Come on. Annie, let's go. Good girl. Come on. There's no more, Mama. There's no more. It's no faster. Come on, Mama. is a little bit more fidgety and she needs a reminder every season that she's gonna be milked and um, she kind of squats a bit but otherwise she does great um, I just want to make sure she remembers what this feels like because as she is the girl that wants to come in but wants to stay outside and she can't make up her mind she is um, also kind of fidgety in here. And again, once milking starts, she completely um, changes. But right now, this is what it is. You're good. Good. She's squatting a little bit, but she never sits, so that's okay. We can deal with that. You're good. I gave her copper because I don't know if you see it. I gave her yesterday, but her hair is starting to not look shiny. It's kind of looks matted in some places and that's usually a good sign her nose the bridge of her nose too Time to go. Good job. Good job. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Let's go. Now you, Clara, you've been in here already. You've been in here. Sing, won't you sing with me? Leave everything for me. Good girl. Good girl. Girl. She's not sitting, she's just squatting. <laughs> but she's doing so much better. You remember last time? She was such a bad girl. But now she's a good girl. With babies in the belly. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, puppy.
done with her food, but she's a little fidgety. I just don't let her know that she can win. <laughs> I just keep my hand there. And this is eventually going to pay off big time because because if you don't train them, what happens is, especially if you're new milking, uh, milking can be frustrating if you milk by hand. So if you're frustrated because you're not get, having a good flow or you're not fast enough and they're going through a lot of feed or they just, you know, there's, there's a lot to the milking part and you don't want to add to it by having a goat that is not cooperating. So in my opinion, yes, you invest more time every day until they kid, but at the same time, you are just going to make it easier at the time of milking. Uh, you'll have a better experience if you train your girls to the stand. If they know that this is a safe place where they will get treats and they're going to get a little bit of an outer massage, it's just going to be an overall better experience for them and it's going to be a faster process for you, a better process for you and something that you're going to look forward to and not think, oh no, I have to go milk this fidgety girl. Now, Gaia, for whatever reason, is having a pretty big otter. I would say that it's like today, as I'm touching it, it's bigger than Clara's. Um, of course, Clara was um, had kids on her, and then when her kids were gone, or when Athene was weaned, uh, Annabelle's little girls were um, drinking from her, so she was nursing at least the the, the tricolor girl from from Annabelle. She was feeding her, so. It, you know, she now she's a, she's dried up, but Clara and Gaia are due on March 1st. So it is not only really important to me that she's already trained to the stand and she has the best manners, but it's also, you know, keeping an eye on her otter. It's been quite interesting because, again, I don't know if I didn't pay attention to first fresheners before and I was gonna clip her yesterday but the extension cord it's only like a two thing and it needs a three so with the uh, ground and I just didn't have one on hand but um, I'm assuming I'm gonna do it sometime this week once I figure out the extension cable thing but it's weird it's weird that her otter is pretty big for how far along she is not that it's huge or filled with milk but it's kind of interesting and see now she's completely relaxed she doesn't care that i'm touching her udder she's kind of trying to look at the camera but um yeah and it pays off so i'm having to touch her all over i want to make sure she's okay with me touching her and that she knows that nothing bad is gonna happen after they take their copper, their selenium, and I trim hooves, the first few days are kind of hard for them because, you know, they, they kind of remember what happened the day before. But as days pass by and they know that they're just coming for a treat, things look better and better. I was talking to uh, Heather. And if you look at her eyes, she does have like a lighter spot in this one, like around her eye, and she does have the same on the other side. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little bit smaller. Now, my question is, is that a moon spot? With Heather, we, uh, I think we concluded that it is. Uh, when it was, when she was a baby, it was darker, and now it started to go lighter and lighter with time. Uh, I just want to know because somebody pointed it out when they came to visit the girls to pick, you know, from which mom they wanted to, uh, to reserve a kid. And so, yeah, I thought to myself, is that really a moon spot? And what I'm talking about is this light part under her eye. Let me know if you do, do know.